Hi guys, I just want to do a quick review of a study that I found online um, regarding water filter effectiveness and how it decreases over time with uh, increased use. And so here we just have a quick photo uh, from the study showing the new filter on the left and of course the used filter on the right. And it was uh, kind of the most shocking so I wanted to show it up front. But I'm just going to go quickly up to the top of the study. Uh, you can look for it yourself online. And uh, so these types of hollow fiber membrane microfilters are uh, used commonly by a lot of uh, people in the preparedness or emergency preparedness movement. Uh, I've got one called a life straw and there's a lot of other uh, filters that use a similar sort of technology. Uh, Sawyer Mini and there's other ones as well. So I've every reason to believe that this study is in fact from the uh, various university researchers that are, are quoted here, but if anybody knows otherwise, if it's fake or something, then please let me know in the comments below and I'll take this video down, but uh, assuming that what we found here online is, is accurate, you can see the different researchers here. And so basically this uh, filter was given to a number of communities in Honduras as part of a humanitarian relief effort. Um, you Basically here we can see the uh, type of filtration that's involved. It's quite common. Oh, sorry about that. So just quickly looking here, you can see they were expecting a certain uh, removal of uh, things like protozoa, bacteria, and they're expecting this to occur you know, over the lifespan of uh, the time period that they were giving it to these people. However, um, here's the results. And so of the 200 water filters that were given to these Honduran communities, hopefully you can see that well right there, there was 200 communities they only got six filters back for whatever reason. It's, you know, it's not statistically a very good way of measuring the whole sample, just only using you know six, uh, six of the 200. But so basically, October 2011, and then two months later, they were they have those certain removal efficiencies that are quite a bit lower than the ones um, the target ones I showed you previously. And as you can see, 23 months later, uh, you know, only 54% effective free coli, 59% removal for turbidity. So that is not very good. Uh, however, you know, basically they don't have a lot of data on how much these filters were used um, or what type of source water was being used. And they also are trusting the people who were using them that in fact they were doing the proper maintenance on them as well, a certain amount of back flushing, etc. And so here they just go through some of the, um, you know, the different techniques they were using. And see here's some results, some actual uh, visual results. So these are the, the ones that they got back from the field on the left hand side and the new ones on the right hand side and you can see there's um, you know the, all the water certainly doesn't visibly even look clean at all on for the ones on the left of course and I don't think there's there is of course the picture again used filter versus a new filter And they go through some of the methodologies that they were using, of course. And yeah, so that's basically the results that we're seeing. So I, you know, how widespread is the issue? They don't know what water quality parameters contributed to the fouling. They don't know, was it due to user error? Are the results applicable to other situations? So anyways, I hope this uh, is something that gives you a reason to be cautious with your water filters. 
in terms of how long they may be good for and in terms of um, you know what basically what uh, types of source waters perhaps you want to be using with them and so there this is at the end of the study so if you have any comments please leave them below please uh, like and subscribe if you feel interested and uh, I hope this video is helpful for you if you're looking for some sort of a water treatment device for your emergency preparedness needs. Thanks very much.